What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Georgia State Dynasty. Week 13 is here and Georgia State comes into this week's game 8-2 on the season, riding a six-game winning streak. And they'll be on the road this week facing off against the Texas State Bobcats. Can the Texas State Bobcats in Georgia State's six-game winning streak? We will find out. This game could wrap up the Sun Division for Georgia State if they get a win. We will find out what happens as Week 13 is here. Innovation that excites. Georgia State's look. Player to watch for on Texas State today is Damon Mercer. Last game, 12 catches, 236 yards, and three touchdowns, and a loss to Louisiana Lafayette. As Texas State starts this game out on offense, Fred Nixon back to pass, fighting over the middle to Mercer, and there is his first catch of the day for 14 yards and a first down. Next play, Nixon out of the shotgun here. Gonna fire deep and wide open is Phillip Rosemond. And that's good for a big gain into Panther territory. Next play, Nixon handoff to Jamel James up the middle. and He will gain enough for the first down. 13 yards in Texas State is moving the ball very efficiently. Three plays and they're already in the red zone. Handoff, Nixon goes to Jamel James on first and 10. He throws a guy to the ground and gets into the end zone for the 20-yard touchdown run, putting Texas State up 7-0 very early in the first quarter here. Less than a minute gone by. Georgia State takes over. Reynolds back to pass here over the middle to Marcus Jackson. That one's good for 11 yards in a first down. And Georgia State controls its own destiny here in the Sun Division. A win today, and they are Sun Division champs headed to the Sun Belt Championship game. As that pitch to Lamont George goes nowhere. Three yards loss on that play. Second and 13, going deep to Sebastian Willard, and he drops it. He was wide open downfield, and he's had some drops this season. Third and 13, Reynolds setting up the screen to Lamont George, and he catches it, but he is hit in the backfield for a five-yard loss. Georgia State has to punt. Texas State takes over up by seven. This pass over the middle to Melton is good for 10 yards and a first down for the Bobcats. Already into Panther territory. Nixon back to pass once again over the middle to Mercer for nine yards and another first down for the Bobcats. Second down and 10 here. Nixon out of the shotgun back to pass. He's going to dump it off to Melton and Melton will gain three, seven yards on that play. This Bobcat team is very balanced on offense with the run and the pass as Fred Nixon goes back to pass and trips over his own defender or own player losing seven yards and they would add a field goal on fourth down. Georgia State takes over, handoff to Lamont George to the left side for six yards on the play. Second down and four now. Reynolds in the shotgun on the read option. He takes this one up the middle and he does not get the first down but we did get it on the next play. First down and 10. Reynolds will fake the delay there. He's going to look to pass. He's going to fire deep as he's hit, and it's caught by David Bailey down at the 20. A big gain for Georgia State. Second down and seven now. Reynolds back to pass, firing to the end zone, and it is deflected by Connor Davidson. Almost intercepted there. Third and seven now for Georgia State. Reynolds will drop back to pass here. He's scrambling around the pocket, being chased. Fighters, and that one falls incomplete. And Georgia State would add a field goal on fourth down. And at the end of one quarter, it's 10 to three in favor of Texas State. 10-3, Bobcats. A tough first quarter for this Georgia State offense, which has been on fire the last six games. Texas State here on third and 10 to start the second quarter. This pass deep is broken up by Miles Morris. And Morris, you gotta come up with that interception. So a field goal attempt by Texas State is up, and it is wide right. No good. That was a 55-yard attempt, and the score stays 10-3. Georgia State takes over. Reynolds back to pass. Dropping back deep, firing deep for Willer, and he drops another one. 
He did have some good coverage on him, but that is still should have been a catch. Reynolds on third and seven, dumping it off to George, and he is going to evade the first tackle, but the second guy does not miss, and Georgia State has to punt. Third down and two now as Texas State takes over. Fred Nixon going to keep this one himself, bouncing off a tackle, then getting taken down to the 36-yard line. Looks like a face mask penalty should have been thrown. Instead, it's first and 10. Nixon over the middle to Mercer. That one's good for 12 yards and a first down for the Bobcats. Second down and two now for Texas State. Nixon will keep this one himself. He's going to go up the middle and gain 11 yards and another first down for Texas State. Next play, Nixon out of the shotgun here, setting up a screen, and he cannot get it off. Well, he does get it off, but he gets hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Third down and five now. Nixon back to pass once again, and he's going to fire to the sideline, and this one is broken up by Artemis Robinson, another one that should have been intercepted. And Texas State adds a field goal on fourth down, making it 13-3 as David Reynolds and this Georgia State offense takes over. Second and six, Reynolds takes off after he gets pressured, and he gets taken down at the 40. And he's off for the first down. First down and 10. Reynolds back to pass. Pump fake. Firing deep. And another one drop, this time by Mark Moore. He cannot hang on. And that is three drops on deep passes that should have been completed. Third down and five now. And this pass is incomplete, broken up by Steven Smith. And Georgia State has to punt, still down 13-3 late in the second quarter. Fred Nixon takes off here on first and 10 for the Bobcats. And he's going to gain enough for the first down. Very next play, Nixon in the shotgun here, looking to pass. He has all the time in the day to pass. He finds Mercer up at the 41. Good for 17 yards and a first down. Third down and two now. Hand off to Jamel James, up the middle he goes. First down and more down at the 16 yard line. That'll set up first down and 10 for Texas State. And Nixon will hand off to Stewart here to the right side and he will get stood up for a one yard gain. Setting up this third and four for Texas State. Nixon in the shotgun, back to pass. Firing to the end zone and caught by Villa Rosemound for a 10 yard touchdown, putting Texas State up. 20 to 3 now late in the second quarter less than a minute to go Georgia State taking over on offense trying to get a touchdown or something some kind of points here as that pass is incomplete broken up intended for Sebastian Willard second down and 10 now Reynolds back to pass pump fakes fires deep and this one's caught by Marcus Jackson for 26 yards I have no idea how he got that one he was covered very well second down and 10 now Reynolds back to pass, firing deep again. This one's caught by Mark Moore at the 27-yard line. That'll set up first and 10 with 22 seconds to go. Reynolds back to pass, scrambling out to the right, firing on the run, and that pass is incomplete off the mark. That will set up second down and 10. Reynolds back to pass, scrambling out to the right. Going to fire to the sideline, caught by Marcus Jackson at the 12-yard line. A gain of 16 and a first down. On the very next play, Reynolds back to pass. Fires quickly to the end zone, and it's caught by Marcus Jackson for 12 yards. And Georgia State scores right before the half and heading into halftime. Texas State's on top, 20-10 to over Georgia State. Georgia State opens up the second half on offense, down by 10 here. Second down and eight, Reynolds back to pass, gonna scramble out to the left and he will get taken down for a 15 yard sack. And looking at the halftime stats here, Georgia State's offense is just not going like it has been the last six games. And Texas State's offense is killing it today, along with time possession there. Third and 23 now for the Panthers, Reynolds back to pass inside the five there and he is taken down once again for a 10 yard sack on the play. Georgia State would punt. Good field position to start for Texas State. Second and seven, dump off to low on the pass over the middle. Good for 16 yards and a first down. Very next play, Fred Nixon will hand off to Jamel James. Up the middle he goes, and he is stopped for a loss by Quincy Randolph for a two-yard loss on the play. Later on in the drive, it's third and five. Nixon back to pass, looking, firing, and it's dropped by the tight end there, and that's going to force... A field goal attempt, which would be up and good, putting Texas State ahead, 23 to 10. Georgia State taking over here. Reynolds on the read option, up the middle he'll go, breaking tackles and getting the first down, 
on a 13 yard gain. Second and six now. Reynolds back to pass, pump fakes, scrambles out to the right here, sets, fires deep, and it's caught by David Bailey at the 39-yard line of the Texas State Bobcats. First down and 10, Reynolds tries to hand, he hands off to Lamont George, and he tries to get outside, and it does not work. Lamont George, like eight rushes, 27 yards in the day so far, so not a very good day. Third and 23. Reynolds going deep, and this time it's caught by David Bailey again. Two big catches on this drive for David Bailey. Second and seven, handoff to Jackson, or it's a jet sweep to Jackson, and he goes for five yards. Third down and two, Reynolds under center. He's going to hand off to the fullback, Keith Rucker, up the middle for the first down and into the end zone for the touchdown, bringing Georgia State within a touchdown of Texas State here with under two minutes to go in the third quarter. Fred Nixon back to pass. He's going to fire this one to the sideline. Caught by Allen, and he's pushed out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Third down and two for the Bobcats. Nixon will keep it on the read option here. Go outside. He got the first down and a little bit more. Seven yards on that play. First down and ten now. Nixon keeps it. Pitches it on the triple option to Jamel James. He's at the first down pass midfield. Taken down at the 49-yard line of Georgia State. Nixon now on first and ten, hands off to Stewart. He breaks the tackle, first down and more. Breaks another tackle, breaks the third tackle, and taken down on the fourth attempt, down to the 13-yard line. First and ten. Nixon here will keep it on the read option. Up the middle, bounces off a tackle into the end zone for the touchdown for Texas State. And at the end of the three quarters, Texas State is on top, 30-17. to Georgia State's deficit has grown to 30 to 17 here entering the fourth quarter as Reynolds takes off on the read option up the middle and he gains 12 yards and a first down at midfield. Third down and 10 now for Georgia State. Reynolds back to pass out of the shotgun, scrambling out, throwing deep to the right and it's intended for Marcus Jackson but off the mark. And on fourth and 10, down by 13, Georgia State will go for it. Reynolds over the middle intended for Willer, broken up and Georgia State turns it over on downs, and Texas State takes over at the 45-yard line. Fred Nixon on the read option up the middle. He will go, and he will get enough for the first down, a 14-yard gain. Second down and 10 now. Nixon back to pass, setting up the screen. Caught by Jamel James down the sideline. He goes inside the 30, taken down at the 26-yard line. Second and four now for the Bobcats. Nixon will pitch it to Stewart, and Stewart's going to get break one tackle, but get wrapped up for a one-yard loss on the second attempt. Third and five now for Texas State. Nixon back to pass. He's looking. He's scrambling, and he is sacked on the play, setting up fourth and 12, and Texas State would add a field goal to go up 33-17. to Georgia State takes over. Third down and 10. Deep pass to Mark Morris, caught for 15 yards and a Georgia State first down. Five minutes to go in this game. Reynolds hands off to George up the middle. Lamont George will break a tackle and gain seven yards on that play on the ground. Second down and three now. Reynolds will hand off to George once again, trying to go to the outside. He gains two yards, but a flag comes in at the end of the play. And this one will be a face mask penalty, 15 yards and an automatic first down. Later on in the drive, Reynolds will fade the handoff to George. Scramble out to the right. Fire deep, and it's picked off by Ardemon there, I think. And that is the first turn of the game, and Texas State takes over with just over four minutes to go. Fred Nixon back to pass. He's firing this one deep, caught by Fields for 25 yards up to midfield. Later on in the drive, it's third and one. Nixon hands off to Jamel James. Breaks a tackle. Another one. Inside the 30, down inside the 20, taken down at the 13-yard line. First and goal to go now for Texas State. Fred Nixon back to pass, fires to the end zone, and it's intended for Jamel James, but he drops it. And they'll have second and goal here. Nixon under center. Hand off to Jamel James. He will go outside and into the end zone for the two-yard touchdown run, putting Texas State up 40-17. to and this game is essentially over. Georgia State gets one more try here. Reynolds back to pass. Pump fake. Fire deep. And it is picked off the second interception of the day for Texas State. And that is going to end this game. Georgia State is going to go down on the road. Fred Nixon, your player of the game, 254 yards, 72 on the ground. 
and Georgia State's six-game winning streak is over. Texas State wins this one today, a final score of 40-17 to over Georgia State. Taking a look at scores from other games around the country, Troy beats up on New Mexico State 34-3 in Sunbelt play. Looking at the stats from our game today, Georgia State got dominated 65 yards on the ground, 196 through the air, and they gave up 252 yards rushing, 254 yards through the air. Players of the game for Georgia State, Marcus Jackson, four catches, 65 yards and a touchdown, and Jerome Schroeder, eight tackles and an assist on the day. Head coach Chip Nolan has an upgrade, and we will go ahead and upgrade him with the anti-freeze upgrade there for game management, and we'll advance to week 14 where we will be playing against the University of Louisiana Lafayette in our final regular season game here they come in 6-5, and five. we are 8-3, and three, and we take a look at the standings here. They are number two in the Sun Division. We are number one. We are 6-2 and two in conference. They are 5-3, and three, and this will decide the Sun Division winner here and who will go to the Sun Belt Championship game. So coming up in the next episode, Georgia State versus the University of Louisiana Lafayette. Come back for that episode. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.